Even though it's only February, you can feel that winter is slowly losing its grip. Definitely in Brno. But the transition phase from winter to spring is usually long and quite boring. I said to myself, I would still like to experience more winter. The weather forecast looked promising and I knew it was time for a trip. I had to switch trains along the way, but that is always fun for me, as I am a fan of trains and public transport in general. There are always good connections here, with minimal waiting time. Even though the landscape was snow-free most of the way, as a meteorologist I wasn't guessing. I knew there would be snow at my destination. And luckily, as the train was climbing higher and higher, I was proved right. It took one and a half hours to get here, which is not bad. I just got off the train in this winter wonderland <laughs> and it's amazing, so let's go! It's a work day, so Tommy has to work, as always, of course, but I have a day off, so I needed to go out because the conditions are very good. There is no snow whatsoever in Brno, but here there is quite a lot. It's frosty, I don't know, around minus 5 degrees Celsius, and there is no cloud in the sky. The only thing that is a little bit unpleasant is that it's windy, but I am an outdoorsy human, <laughs> so no wind can stop me and hopefully I will enjoy this. Here I am in a region that is called Highlands, so I am at higher elevations. I am a little bit lost I'm looking for my trail because as you can see the main road or trail goes straight ahead but I need to follow yellow markers you know maybe you can see them on the tree so this way <laughs> and there hasn't been anybody here before me so <laughs> this will be interesting you can see the yellow markers here, so that's my trail. I am on a yellow trail. <laughs> and it looks like this. <laughs> wow. But luckily there isn't that much snow here, so <laughs> hopefully it will be okay. Maybe you can see like a hint of the trail or of the road. There are snow drifts and everything because the wind is quite strong. It's not the best, not pleasant at all, but I will manage somehow. I have to. I found a nice shelter with a table here and you know what that means. It's time for tea! Yay! And of course there is a little bit of rum in there. I need that to warm me up but there is just a tiny amount of rum in there so everything is okay. I love being surrounded by snow everywhere on a great day like this one and drinking hot tea, it's amazing. I made it to the next village, <laughs> yay! <laughs> it wasn't easy walking in the deep snow, but I'm happy there is progress, so... Everything is great. Sometimes we hear news from North America 
from the US or Canada that some places are snowed in and are not accessible. Luckily it's not a thing here. There are never such bad conditions weather-wise, you know, there is never so much snow. So you can go to all villages all the time. Sometimes when there is big snowfall for a few hours the traffic can collapse, but that's it. Oh my god, the dog is not happy with me. <laughs> wow, look at the icicles. That's amazing. I am on the right track. You can see the yellow sign. So, this way. This is so cute. The little pond looks like something out of a fairy tale. And the little house there. Yay. So pretty. I see another shelter with a table. So I'm heading there and it's time for lunch. Wow, the wind is terrible. Oh. For lunch I'm having various pastries. They are not in the best condition <laughs> because there is so much stuff in my backpack like tea and water and the camera. <laughs> so it got squished a little bit, but that's okay. The main thing is that it's tasty, of course. Hmm. When I'm filming, I have to take off my gloves because otherwise I wouldn't be able to push the buttons, you know. So, yeah, it's not the best. But what wouldn't I do for you guys, right? say that shelter was a terrible place to have lunch. <laughs> it was so exposed to the wind that I was looking forward to when it's finally over. <laughs> the pastries were tasty, so that was nice, but it was so cold. Wow. But at least the path got better here because I'm walking on a track for cross-country skiing and not like directly on the track but there was some vehicle driving here and I'm not falling into the snow because previously I was falling into the snow like up to my ankles sometimes so this is faster <laughs> and I like it It's so much better here in the forest because I am hidden from the wind. It's really not good. Windy weather, you know guys, it's not for me. I hate when it's windy. Tomorrow it should be less windy, but there will be clouds. So sunny is better and I have to tough it out but it's not the best. I am on a small hill now and there are views. Yay! Very pretty and very windy. You can see one little village behind me and then in the distance there is another one. That's where I am heading and that's not my final destination. I need to reach a train station in another village. 
so <laughs> wish me luck. Yesterday, it was my birthday and it was such an amazing day, thanks to Tommy. He bought a few cakes for me, he made little breads, which are open-faced sandwiches, so that was very tasty. Then we went to the planetarium in Brno, we haven't been there for six years, so that was great. And it was also a very nice walk. And then in the evening he prepared dinner, which was dumplings with eggs. And I loved it. And I got to wear my crown as well, because I am king. And then there was wine and we were watching a movie. Such a great day. There is a story, as always, about a little dragon that's living here in the area. He found out years ago or centuries ago that there are nice views from this place and you can see a lot from here. So he decided to stay here and he's looking for a princess. So that's cute. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't eat kinks, because then I'm screwed. But I think it's a lovely dragon, so everything will be okay. <laughs> and back to the birthday day. So it was similar to my birthday last year. If you haven't watched a video from that day, we will link it in the description below or it will be somewhere. And you can watch that one and see what my birthday is like. I'm now following green markers because I switched to green trail. I'm getting quite tired. I'm finally in the second village. It felt like I was walking for hours, but the distance is quite short. I can still see the first village with the church, so that's interesting. It's really hard walking in the snow. First houses of the second village. It's so pretty here. These villages always look so idyllic and mainly in winter when there is a lot of snow. Look at this. Wow. Winter can be so pretty when there is snow. It's so different to all the other seasons. It's so difficult again. There hasn't been anybody on this path 
before me and I am in snow up to my ankles so <laughs> the progress is slow and what's worse is that there is no alternative trail to where I'm going because I need to get to the train station so this is the only way oh, hopefully I will make it it's not easy It's amazing to see the ice crystals being swept away by the wind. They are flying over the snow and snow drifts are being created and everything. It's so fascinating and beautiful. There are buds on some trees already. It's amazing to see first signs of spring already in February on such a cold and snowy day yay there are footprints here so there has been somebody here before me there were some cottages so probably someone walks to them from the train station or something <laughs> What's great is that the days are longer already, so much better than it was in December. So I can be outside for longer and I don't have to worry that it will be dark too soon. So there is not as much pressure to hurry as there is in December, for example. The path got easier here <laughs> so there is this boost of energy and I like it I'm not complaining <laughs> this is great this is so cute this spring is called Helenka it means little Helen and she was a fairy living here in the forest very happy dancing every day in between the trees and everything but one day she stumbled across a rock and she fell down she hurt herself and she started crying and the tears where they fell on the ground they created this spring so that's very interesting so here we have it and that's not the end of the story she liked the spring so she started to take care of it and she dances here in the forest until now I guess I still have some of my pastries, sweet ones, so I'm looking forward to them. There is not much wind here in the forest, so it's better. Even though I'm here in shade, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what matters is that the wind is not blowing so strong. so pretty here I'm getting close to the train station slowly but it looks like I will make it the trains go every two hours so that's okay and 
the sun is also slowly setting, but I still have like 40 minutes until it's completely down. And my train goes in less than an hour, so it looks like I calculated everything correctly and I will be there just in time. Tommy was saying that I would be pleasantly tired after this hike and I have to say I agree now that it's coming to an end slowly I am pleasantly tired look at this it's so beautiful wow it looks like I spoke too soon about the getting close to the train station I can see it already but it's again difficult <laughs> to walk in the snow so it will be a challenge until the end you can see the train going in the opposite direction down there so there is the train station and this is not the train station where I started in the morning I'm not doing a loop so I love this I love using public transport because then you can do this start somewhere and finish somewhere else it's the same railway but I'm going to a different village look at the snow glistening it's so beautiful And I made it to the train station, yay! In the end I was even able to film the sunset. And the train should be here in three minutes. So <laughs> just in time. I love it. And I really am pleasantly tired. This was a great day. And the sunset was like cherry on top or something. Wow! Yay! I'm really happy that I am brave enough to do hikes like this because otherwise I wouldn't be able to see such beauty and it really makes me happy. It's such a great feeling, feeling of accomplishment and I had healthy movement and yeah, I feel great. I recommend this. And the train is coming, yuppie, just on time. <laughs>